Hey guys, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm here to talk to you guys about like World Trigger, which is on season three, on episode five, or episode ninety, or the total number of episodes. Now, this episode right here was actually pretty cool, not too bad, and I actually liked it in a certain way. But at the same time, I'm actually also worried, you know. Well, I'll talk about that worried part to the very end. So if anything else, let's just get this started, okay? We have to it that um. After the opening, obviously, we get to know why, like, um, why Suzunari Murakami made the point on Kagera or Captain Kagera squad, you know? We get to know that before, Ka after Kagera bailed out, we get to know that Murakami did the most damage on him in terms of, like, um, whatchamacallit, um, of him losing a lot of Trion. So Kagera only bailed out so Tamakuma does not get another point, you know? Which is a good strategy, you know? Because we get to know we get to know the rankings of Kagera themselves. We get to know that the Kagera squad is actually in the rank number two right now. And that Tamakuma needs to get a couple points more in order to like catch up. But unfortunately, you know, um uh, what you may call it, um that um that Things kind of went out, went a different way that might give him a little bit more pressure than it has to be, you know. And I'll get to that in just a moment. We have to it that after Kagura bailed out here and there, and of course Tamakuma got their point. We have to it that Husei and Kugayuma clashes against M Murakami and Su and Suzunari, you know. And apparently things kind of gotten looks. It looks like to me, it looks like a plain stalemate, you know. It's like they can't seem to get close to them. Neither they can't get a, the jump on them. But eventually, we have to it. Even we have to it. Eventually, um, what you may call it, Mikumo managed to like appear behind them, and Husei has an idea what to do, and tells Mikumo like he's not going to use the Viper for like uh, many good reasons alone. You know, saying that he wants to save that for after the battle, and we have to it. Eventually, um, that with the help of Husei, Husei's of Husei jumping ahead thanks to like Kugayuma's grasshopper, we had to it that Husei ends up getting get getting Murakami in a in a nice stalemate where he grabs his weapon of Kogetsu or or his Kogetsu arm and ends up using Esquero to like um push away Suzunari and that's where Mikumu makes his move and makes a hit on like um Captain Suzunari you know, but we have to it eventually as the episode continues on. We had to it that Kugayuma and Chusei had to combine their efforts in order to take down Murakami Ko. But however, Murakami managed to cut another piece of a, another piece of limb off of Kugayuma using Kogetsu or something and almost hits Husei. But thanks to Kugayuma using the Esquero that's on that Husei put on Murakami in terms of like hitting it and making him fall off making him go off balance, he, he Husei barely dodges and delivers a fatal blow to Murakami and there goes another point, you know? So, we have to it that Suzunari gets shot by um, Kagero squad sniper whatsoever and then sh ends up shooting Mikumo, you know? And we have to it that, um, whatchamacallit, um, cat, cat, that Kagero sniper gets wide open and tries to escape but Azumi, Captain Azumi of his own squad ends up showing up and shoots um Kagero's sniper and etc. But even though like Kagero Kagero squad is out of the game, Mikumu took way too much damage from the sniper to like um what you may call it to not be able to hold on anymore, you know? So we get so think of it this way. In last episode, Mikumu lost an arm and now he lost a leg and him using a lot of tree on here and there, it's only it only gets worse from here on out, you know? And that's the reason why Mikumo has no choice but to bail out or something. And Kagera, Kagera got gets another gets another point. The sniper that is. And we got to know about the rankings, you know. In order to go into the away away games or join up with the away squad, the A the A rank squad, in order to go to the neighbor world, they have to be in the top two B rank wars, you know. And this gets very difficult because Kagera squad they are ahead and they they are in the number two spot of B rank wars, you know. While Tamakuma seems to be catching up, they have to get there faster and etc. It's getting very bad and worse from here on out, man. It's really, really bad right now. But we have to it that, um, whatchamacallit, that there is still some hope. But however, Azuma, Azumi ends up putting out a lot of decoys, you know. 
he puts out a lot of crazy decoys in order to like um whatchamacallit um to distract maybe Tamakuma, you know? But we had to that Chika comes into play. And Chika uses a giant meteor as as ordered and ends up blasting the freaking mall and ends up actually taking out one of Azumai t Azumai's squad members, you know? Which is really bad because because we all know how Chika is, Chika Amatori. We all know that she doesn't like to shoot people. She doesn't really have that kind of will or that kind of a personality trait to do so. But the fact is that she did that. It seemed like to me she's really shocked and worried. And it may put a little stress on her mental mind. Because we all know how she is. If you guys been either reading a manga. Or even watch the anime up until this point. You will understand where I'm coming from. Chika Amatori doesn't like to shoot people. Well in terms of like. She could shoot them but. Not. But in terms of killing them. That's what she's worried about, you know, that kind of thing. But whatever the case may be, um, it looked like to me she was really worried and shocked. But they say, hey, hey, it's okay. It's just an accident, you know. And Chika tries to keep her composure here and there. And everybody was shocked. Even the commenters know that they've been hearing a lot of intel that she can't shoot people. But the fact is that what she did was a crazy freaking like... Um, was a crazy big amount due to the fact that she has a big amount of Trion and what she could do with the Meteor, you know, that kind of thing. But, but if she could overcome the weakness where she can't shoot people, they are bound to win. But it's not, it's not all bad. Even though she did kill someone, well, not entirely kill, if you guys know what I'm talking about, she actually took out half the decoys, you know, that was distracting Kugayuma, Husei, and maybe everyone else all together. And, we had to it that like um, Azumai says, ah oh, man, this is really bad. But this is where I had to figure out how great these two guys have grown, which is on his squad members, you know. Azumai wants to see how how great like how good o Okudera and Kawarai has grown, you know that kind of thing. But right now, like um, Husei asked Kugayuma, how many points do we need left in order to go to second place of the B Rank Wars away squad? And we had to it that Kugayuma says we need three more. That's it. And we had to it. Husei is determined. And then, his, and then he gets ready to go into action with Kuga Yuma. And the episode ends up there. So overall, I gotta say, that was a pretty crazy episode. Although, like, when it comes... When it came to the fight with Murakami Ko, you know, and Suzunari, that was pretty pressuring. But I never forgot about their sniper. Because, you know, when it comes to their sniping or gunmen in, in any squad that uses guns or sniping... You have to understand, they can always come out of nowhere. And that's what Kagera squad did. They literally, he, he showed up, took out Captain Suzunari, and took out Mikumu, or Osamu-san. Well, Osamu was on the Trion loss pretty badly, so it was only natural for him to like bail out eventually. You know, that kind of thing. But, another shocking and worrying, worrisome thing, worrisome event, was when Chika launched a powerful meteor, you know? That was pretty crazy, man. I was like... Oh my gosh, she went kaboom on that sh man. <laughs> and it's no joke. We all know Chika Amatori is a big Trion user. If you guys have been watching the anime or if you are, you are a manga reader, you will understand where I'm coming from. And the fact is that she became a freaking golden target when it came to the Season 1's war, man. That was, that freaking spooked me and freaked me out most of the time. But... That aside, like I said, that, that part right there of what Chika Amatori did was actually worrisome for me. Because, think about it. She never killed or shot people, you know? And the fact that she did this right now, I have a feeling it's going to put a lot of stress on her mind later. And makes her not want to use that crazy meteor explosion again. Because, we all know she's capable of destruction, man. It's just like um she has this big amount of power within her, you know? But... She doesn't want to use it to kill people. That's another problem. Or shoot people. <laughs> that kind of thing. You guys know where I'm getting at. Anyways, I just hope this doesn't put any mental stress on her. Because the fact that she got a point shocks, shocks everybody. And it's going to make everyone, every other squad to freak out and figure out what to do next. Because we all know what... <laughs> what they've been hearing about Chika Amatori can't shoot people or kill people, you know? But the fact of what she did right now, it's gonna make them go like, okay, we really gotta be careful from now on and change things up. But 
you know, you get the idea. Anyways, looking forward to the next episode. So until then, people, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Alpha Zero. Have a good day. I'll see you guys next time. All right. Peace out. Bye-bye. Toot, toot, toot.